What's up guys, we're back with Auto Mafia and today we're working on another 37V6. I know, that's like all we do here is 37V6s, I swear. I do like V8s guys, I swear to God, I like V8s, I like Coyotes, I like LS motors, I like Mazdas, I like Cadillacs, I like it all. But for some reason we get a lot of these 37s. But, today we're tuning a 3.7 liter V6 with a big old Pro Charger. So, should be fun, we're running on uh, DW, the Deuce Works, um, 65 pound uh, injectors. Um, I don't know what pulley's on it, we'll have to look, but hopefully um, on 93 we'll get a nice safe tune. We'll make 400-ish horsepower, maybe a little more. So we'll see what we can get out of it. Uh, let's do it. I will make a note, guys. We did not install this kit. This is a used kit. This is a customer's car. Not our doing. However, I think it's uh, going to be good. All right, so we got our, our three fans set up. My fan set up. Get the computer going here. It's time to start. guys so while tuning we ran into a little bit of issue now Alex had told us uh, watch you know watch the coolant because he wasn't sure that he filled it all the way up you know whatever so um, we were watching it did good um, and then all of a sudden it was kind of running funny and, and it started spraying coolant everywhere the gauge is dead normal we check it on the log it all of a sudden started spiking and got hot so no big deal we'll let it cool off and we'll go from there but uh, the reason that things started getting weird was we had a boot fall off so down here, there's a boot that goes up, goes a metal piece, and then goes straight up. That piece disconnected because there was never a hose clamp. So before you bring your car to a tuner, always go over your kit 10, 20, 30, 100 times. Make sure every clamp is on. Make sure every clamp is tight. Make sure that it's full of coolant. Run it at idle. You're not going to mess anything up at idle. Run it at idle. Let it get up to temperature. Cycle the coolant through get the air bubbles out of it so that we can tune it properly. So the problem is now for the customer, he has an extra charge because we have to fix what he didn't do correctly and then we can finish tuning it. So just a tip, if you don't want to have spend extra money with your tuner and have make them fix what you did wrong, get it right the first time or just have them install it. In the end, a lot of the times, it ends up being cheaper for you in the long run just to have a good shop, especially the ones who are gonna tune it for you, install all your parts. So you see right now, the intake's going back on. Reason for that is the spark plugs, which we were told were gapped correctly and were new spark plugs, weren't new. We replaced them and they were gapped at 035 instead of 028. So we were getting some blowout. So we pulled them off, um, we replaced them with new spark plugs and we gapped them correctly and we're installing them now. So this should fix our issue of breakup and the car should make a little more power. We'll get closer to that 400 mark.
think, man. Dude, this thing rips. It's ripping. So it basically makes about 396-ish, give or take a few, depending on the weather. Horsepower, what was it, like 360, 350? Yeah. 350 uh, foot-pounds of torque. But yeah, it's a certified ripper. This thing will just light the tires up like no other. Um, totally different beast. Um, look forward to we up the pool and put some real gas in it, 93 crap. Yeah. But that's it, guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll check you next time.